Hi guys, this is Kaki from Kaki's Life. Um, what if the purses that we make from Anna Griffin's luxury quilted purse ties? It's like this, right? And then we make it like this. Decorate it, right? If we take it on a different level, like this. Make it like this, right? So compare it to the one that we have, smaller one, smaller version, from this and this, right? Okay. So those are different purses, and then we decorate it like this, right? Ta-da! Ta-da! This one too, okay. For the smaller ones, I already made this, so you guys probably know this, okay. On my other videos, so now I take it to a different level. What if we make this one? It all started like this. this to this and then with this to this okay so these are different size of purses that I made I was really busy because I wanted to figure something out uh, that we can uh, take it up a notch okay so the one that you see here both of this these are from um, Anna Griffin's uh, embossing folders you know the one that we have like this from years ago that uh, we put the sentiments inside like so this is the one uh, this is not the one that I made for this one but when she had the embossing folders this goes with the sentiments that you basically you you know match it like that okay and then you ran the paper like this and then with the cuddle bug that we used to have like this one we had the plates right okay so you're familiar with that today I wanted to show you that this embossing folder can also run on our Empress machines okay so I'll show it to you um, in real time so uh, you would know like what what sandwich or depending also what paper you're gonna use okay so let's get started okay so I have here is the uh, large Empress machine uh, from Anna Griffin it's a new one but I think I've been playing so much of this in uh, so you can see the scratch marks okay so for the purpose of this video is also a tutorial on if you can run uh, the embossing folders that Anna Griffin had for the cuddle bug into our Empress machine. So the sandwich that I had that I use is okay so I hope you can read my handwriting so it's for Anna Griffin's beige embossing folder this is from the bottom to the top so you need the A plate and then you will need the embossing folder so this is what we're gonna use our embossing folder okay and it says um, well, with the paper so this is my paper then I put it like that okay and then we have the metal shim so from the bottom we do like this a plate embossing folder with paper right and then um, the cardstock like it's a 65 pound or uh, 
two pieces or if you have like 110 pounds just one piece depending on the paper that you're using okay so I'm using uh, Michael's um, I think recollections so just for to be clear the materials that I use right here is just I bought it myself it's not it's sponsored in anything and the idea and my opinions are by myself so um, if you think that it's not for you then um, um, I, I I just wanted to share okay so we have choices on the dice that we buy from Anna Griffins so I turned the machine on and then I fit it to uh, my Empress machine. Okay. And so, this is the result of the embossing folder. Right? Isn't it amazing? And look at the back too. The deboss emboss so this also you can make as a purse but it's it's gonna be like this let's say the handle would be right here if you wanted it okay um, so what you do is you cut um, the uh, the paper like five by seven so I, I think you can kind of see the, um, the line so you can cut it there so it's like five inches and then seven inches okay uh, this is um, what it looks like so just wanted to share for this project um, we'll use the um, basically if you have one of these so we cut it in half and make it like this okay so if you only have this then for the sides like of the purse like this you can also just use craft paper the side or the bottom it's up to you but if you have extra then uh, you can have you'll have uh, two pieces of your cardstock okay so I cut my uh, the front of my purse I run it through my um, cuddle bug well, not cuddle bug, but the Empress machine, and this is the result. Cut it five by seven. Okay. Now you need the bottom of the purse. Okay. So what you do is just measure five by seven, and then um, you'll cut it. Like take the four corners off. So like this. Cut it like that okay then for the side of the purse so I have you know the Anna Griffin right so I have this this is the one that Anna Griffin's use for the bottom of the purse but for our purse like this we're gonna use it on the side so I ran this and I got this result because I have two okay Two of this one okay and then for the handle I'm using also Anna Griffin's uh, luxury quilted purse dies for the handle that I use for this one okay for our shadow layer I use my craft paper to cut two because one in the front and back of our purse okay two of the shadow layer and then for the front of the purse um, I cut two of these because this will go on top of our shadow layer okay our purses well the purse for right now this one so uh, this is the bottom of our purse it's a five by seven for the five by seven so the measurement is um so you cut it on the uh what's the measurement in this one this is um uh, like eight eight inches okay 
So to make it like seven, so take half of it, score it, half, score it, and also for this one, uh, like basically two and a half. Okay, so because this is one and a half on this one, and then the other half is also one half, one half, score it, so fold it, and make it like the bottom of our purse. Okay, so we are going to um, assemble it. So you can use a siren, well not a siren, but a double-sided tape, but I have a glue, so I'm going to use it right now for this. Okay. Just trying to make sure that I'm on video, so not to miss out on anything. Then get your, uh, the front. Well, it doesn't matter what the front or the back is. And you also do it. Um, if you're using glue, uh, I suggest be very careful because if you have uh, wet, it's kind of hard to take that off. So, the soonest that you get a glue, like smidge on your uh, foiled hard stuff just wipe it right away okay Don't like this too okay okay so then after this go get the size of your purse which is this one and then we glue the sides too so I'm gluing the other side too, okay? Not on that one. I don't want to have any glue on the side of my purse. Okay. There you go. Okay, we'll wait for this to dry and then I'll get back with you. Okay, so I think it's dry, so your purse would be like this. So we glue the side, the bottom, and these are the front ones, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is put glue on this and then this the side okay and then um, what we do is so the bottom ones goes like that okay and then on the side too you, you're seeing it So you glue it's easier. And then for the other side too. I got a glue. Huh. There you go. And then if you have a bone folder or just your hand because it's gonna fit inside okay Ta-da! right if you wanted to reinforce um, your cardstock you can also add additional 65 pound or like a 110 pound but for me uh, this works for me because I just wanted a, like a simple uh, purse so now that our purse is uh, dry 
so it's good. Then we get our a shadow layer for the handle and uh, we glue it like this, okay? And after we glue them together, then get your uh, double-sided, well not the double, but a foam adhesive and then we put it all in the back. Okay, I'll show you. Okay, so I use a uh, foam adhesive for the handle. So basically, it's a good thing we have a, that's the middle. And then I'll just put it like this. Just that eyeball. Right. Yes, like that. And now you have it. See, two. So we can decorate. We can put um, any sentiments that we have here. Right? So I'll try to decorate and then I'll show it to you guys. Okay? Okay, so I'm using uh, the bow. Uh, I made this using Anna Griffin's uh, ribbon maker, bow maker. And also, this is uh, Anna Griffin's. Okay? And this one too. Okay, and this is how I decorated it. I didn't decorate the back, but you know, it's up to you if you wanted to decorate the back too. See the embossing and depossing on the inside? So, um, well, thank you for watching, and I hope you. Uh, Got some tips and uh, some versatility uh, that I showed on uh, Anna Griffin's uh, dice. And uh, so at least we're not just limited on just card making. Um, again, thank you for watching. If you like it, please subscribe and comment. Um, and I will post more uh, tutorials or informational videos. Again, um, till next time. Bye for now.